Hello everyone and welcome to my new pigeon loft. We were quite busy over the weekend putting the structure up and it was a bit difficult taking video whilst it was going up but I managed to get a few shots so I can show you a little bit of a time lapse but I thought now would be a nice time to give you a tour of the inside. So the loft obviously isn't finished yet and there's still construction material everywhere but basically it's a combined race and stock loft. If we start from the outside we step into the first race section now obviously we'll close off these walls and also clad the inside and probably the roof. But like I said, we step into the first race section. Then we go into the second race section. This is where the trap and the landing board is going to go. And then we have two sections for the breeding pigeons. These sections are a little bit smaller and again, we're going to clad these walls. We'll have one section for the hens and the second section for the cocks. I'll probably have the breeding boxes up against the back wall and the perches on the side walls. And each of the sections, except for the trapping section, has a little aviary at the front. And that means I can put a bath up here for the stock birds without risking to lose them. And it also means that over here in the race section, the race birds can enjoy a little bit of sun without taking the risk of being outside. Now the race season has just started over here. We're about three weeks in. So it's probably going to be about a year until I get my first race here. And hopefully that gives us enough time to iron out any bugs and make sure this loft is as suitable as possible. It is a little bit dark in here. Unfortunately the loft faces south. So there's a good chance I might put some skylights in. Also because it faces south, there is a chance that some weather might come in this way. So I'm thinking about putting some shutters down here that I can close off at the night time to keep it a bit warm and to also stop any rain getting in if we have any bad weather. Like I said earlier, I wasn't able to get much filming on whilst we were putting the frame up. But now that all I've got left is the walls and the perches, I'll definitely keep you guys updated as I'm building that. It shouldn't be too much longer and we'll have the proper birds in here. But whilst we're waiting to finish the inside of this loft and get the new birds in, I do actually have a few breeding birds here. So let's go outside and have a look at them. So here in Australia it is the start of winter and it's not an ideal time to be breeding. So I've just brought down a few of my older breeding pairs, the ones who have trouble breeding, just to try and give them the best possible chance of producing some babies this year. This pair is a pair that you might have seen before. They're actually the parents of Kurt Maney's bird Shock, who is quite a popular bird on his channel. The father is 14 years old. The mother's only three or four. But this guy does have a few issues. He actually has bone cancer, which makes it a little bit difficult for him to get around. And with his age, breeding is a little bit difficult. He is sitting on one egg at the moment, but I'm pretty sure it's not a fertile egg. And I'm probably going to move him into the new loft as soon as we can and give him another chance to try and, to try and fill his eggs. In here, we actually have my favorite pigeon. He's one that you guys have seen plenty of when you watch my channel, but he's hardly ever been in any videos. He's actually the pigeon in my profile picture. He's quite old as well, he's 14 years old, bred in 2007. And I'll do a video looking at him in the future. But you can see he's with his little silver hen, and these guys are the basis of my yellow project. You might remember that last year we had our dilute carrying cockbird escape, which threw a real spanner in the works for that project. But these guys are the parents of that bird, and we're trying to recreate our dilute carrying red cockbird to produce some yellows. And then down here we have another pair. This hen is the daughter of the hen I showed you in the first box. And she's quite old too, she's 10 years old, but she was a champion race bird. And then she's paired to the brother of the hen who her father is paired to. And again, this is one of the best pairs I have, but unfortunately this hen has a lot of trouble breeding. So I've put them together early in the hopes that we can try and get some babies out of her, because I'd really love to be racing them this year. Just looking at these boxes, I really don't like having to use these outdoor boxes. They're hard to clean, they do get messy. As you can see, the birds spill a lot of grain. So now that the loft's up, I'm probably not going to use these ones anymore. At the very least, I'll do some modifications and make them a bit better. I might even just have to completely rebuild them. 
because they're really not very good boxes. People often ask me to share the design of these boxes and honestly I really can't because they're not good. It's a really bad design and it's only been out of necessity that I've been using them. But now that we have the new loft, it's just about ready to be filled with pigeons and then we can start doing things a little bit better around here. Just as a little bit of an update, like I said we're about two or three weeks into the race season here in Australia and some of my birds have already had success. You might remember the pied birds that came out of my brown project. I was a little surprised that these birds came out so lightly coloured. I was expecting, you know, dark blacks or browns. But one of those birds actually won a race in the very first week of the season. That was a little bit of a surprise because these birds are bred for a bit longer distance, maybe six or 700 kilometres. And the race was only 130, 140. So I'm hoping to see that bird have more success later on in the season as well. And of course, we'll put the parents of that bird back together to breed a few to race to this loft next year. So we're looking forward to that. You might also remember the late bred pair of reds. They produced a red checker cock and a blue checker pied hen. Uh, the red checker cock went to another loft as a stock bird, but the blue checker hen has gone to race, and she actually landed with a club winner last week as well. So with two of my birds already this year having success, I'm really looking forward to starting to breed the race birds again, and to fill this loft up, and to try and have some success next year. Our little mosaic is still sitting here in quarantine. He'll be going into the main loft pretty soon. And last of all, our pair of recessive reds are sitting on eggs. I'm breeding these for a friend of mine. And again, as you can see, these boxes are terrible. <laughs> They're actually starting to fall apart. I've moved them two or three times now and they really haven't recovered well from it. But these eggs are due to hatch. I think they're due to hatch this weekend, actually. So I'm expecting a few little babies there. You can see that I've used the pine needles, that is my favourite nesting material. Last year I was using straw and that's just because I wasn't able to pick up any pine needles. But the needles are my favourite and that's why I'm using them this year. And because the babies are about due to hatch, I've switched the parents over to the pellets because as you would have seen in the other boxes, the adult birds make a lot of mess when they're on grain in these boxes and the pellets just keep it a little bit cleaner. So guys, that's just about it for today. Thanks for watching and I'm really looking forward to showing you guys what's going on in the new loft in the very near future.